quilts and today I just thought that I would do a series of videos and then spend the rest of my week perhaps doing some editing first thing I want to do is a quick haul I got some books from connecting threads and I just thought that I would share them with you they were having a sale and it might still be going on and it's 40% off of books or up to 40% off books most of the books that I got were at 40% off. So I just opened the box. And inside they've got a pretty little picture of some threads laid out. And then on the back is just the contact information for connecting threads on all the social media sites. Also included is my receipt. And it actually states how much each item cost and I like that because a lot of times when you order online they just send you a packing order so I actually like having a receipt with the prices so again I got three books so the first thing that I got was 365 free motion quilting designs by Leah Day the original price on this book is $36.95 and I paid $23.97 with the sale price at connecting threads so I had originally saved a photo of all of her designs that she was working the year she made these designs but I thought it would be so much better to have an actual book that I could use and even if I had to print them all out on photo paper to do so I would have spent more than $24 and it would not have been as nice the only thing that I wish and she did not do it in her online thing either but where some of the designs are more complex I wish she had put a start and an end so you could kind of see where the design started but up in the front they're just very you understood designs but once it gets a little bit further into the middle to the back some of the designs were a little bit more complicated where you may not know exactly where she actually started and stopped but I do love this book and I just wanted to support Leah the next book I got, I got because when I was at a long arm quilting meeting, we were in a quilt shop and the quilt was hanging on the wall and they were doing it or preparing it to be a block of the month and they did not have any books for sale or any kits for sale at that time. So it's, I think it's going to start sometime this summer. But anyway, I was enthralled with it and I thought that I would look it up online to see what it was all about because I really didn't have any information in the shop on the actual quilt. And it's Quilter's Patch by Laundry Basket Quilts. And it was just the prettiest quilt that I'd ever seen. And I bought the book and I've already glanced through it. So it's going to be a process to make this. But the nice thing is she has charts in the back for you to use it as a block of the month so that's what a lot of the quilt shops are doing and then each block she tells you how much fabric you need in each block as you're making it so let me show you one of those pages so here she's telling you what the fabric requirements are for that particular block so you've got it both ways the on, the other thing that she did was at the back of the book she has a fabric chart that's telling you how much you need of each fabric as well so i would like to do this this book um was retail price at 27.95 and i paid 16 dollars and 77 cents so i got over 10 dollars off the book there's also templates that go with this for her projects you need to cut things out. So let me see if I can show you one of those pages. And she does have a template pack that have all of the templates for these so you don't have to make your own templates. 
So I may order that. I may not. We'll see. And then the last thing that I ordered, I was on Connecting Thread site, and you get free shipping with any order over $50. And so I just started looking, and the first thing that caught my eye was this Paradox Point booklet. And it really is just one quilt. So it's just this one quilt that you see, and then they even show it to you in different colorways so there's a blue that's scrappy on the cover is the rainbow and then here they have it in a gray with bright colors your yellow oranges reds pinks and let's see if it's a different one on the back cover on the back cover they still have a different one it's kind of a light blue with all shades of blue triangles but I thought this was really cute because you're actually constructing 60 degree triangles and then you're putting them together and making the arrow points. And each of these 60 degree triangles are made with a different pattern. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing to do. The actual finished quilt size is... Let's see if I can find that. Oops. 80 by 100. So that's kind of a weird size. So I will probably end up adjusting this pattern to make it fit my bed. If I'm going to make a quilt 100 inches long, it's going to eventually end up on the bed. So I'll make some adjustments for that. But... This is also a block of the month. So I will probably be using both of these books as block of the month. And if you're interested in joining me in either of these or both of these block of the months, I would recommend going over to Connecting Threads and getting your book ordered while they're still on sale. The price of this book on sale was $14.40. And I don't have a regular price on the back of this book. So I'm sure that it was 40% off the price. So all of your foundation piecing patterns are included in the book here. So you just copy off four copies for each triangle to make this quilt. So I'm looking forward to that and I hope that some of you will be willing to join me in some sew alongs with these blocks of the months because I'm not going to try to do anything to rush and get them done. So let's see, it's almost the end of May. Let's say that I'll start my block of the months in July. So if you want to participate with me, let me know down in the bottom comment section otherwise i'll just start whenever and i won't do any videotaping i'll just probably just show you a photo or i'll just probably show you a photo or a quick camera sweep of my projects when i'm doing what's on my design wall but if you're interested please let me know down in the bottom i thought both of those projects were pretty cool maybe we can do one the first week of the month and then maybe another one on the third week of the month so let me know what you think um and that is it for this video and i will see you in my next one bye bye